Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now, oddly enough, Anthony Joshua has come under fire once again by Kubrat Pulev's team. They said that Anthony Joshua was supposed to be special after his win and how he dispatched Vladimir Klitschko. But they say that they are disappointed with what Anthony Joshua has done since that fight. Anthony Joshua has, since that fight, unified against Joseph Parker. He has beaten Carlos Takam. He has beaten Alexander Povetkin, who is fighting Dillian White next. He has also lost his world titles and regained them in an immediate rematch, becoming only the fourth person to do that in heavyweight history, alongside Floyd Patterson, Muhammad Ali and Lennox Lewis. So for them to say that it has been a disappointment, Anthony Joshua's career after that Vladimir Klitschko fight, then what do they expect from him? What more can he do? Who else can he face? He has faced top opponents continuously, much as even Dillian White does. That seems to be the mould and what they have set for themselves, the president they have set, Anthony Joshua and Dillian White. They both continuously fight back to back top fighters. Who has Kubrat Pulev fought? Let's talk about that. Who has Kubrat Pulev fought since fighting Vladimir Klitschko? His only world title fight where he lost in five rounds, he completely came apart in that fight. He did not know what to do. He came to world level and he came unstuck. He lost it completely. Who has he fought since then? Nobody's. I mean, he's fought Huey Fury, which was a good win, I guess, and Derek Chisora was a good win as well, but I mean, he's never fought an Alexander Povetkin. He's never fought a Joseph Parker. Not at world level. His only world level fight is Vladimir Klitschko. Look what happened in that fight. So there seems to be this thing emerging where they seem to put Anthony Joshua down about his mental strength, about his last opponents, when what about Kubrat Pulev? What about his mental strength in that Vladimir Klitschko fight? What about his lackluster performances against lower level oppositions? What about the people he has fought? Who has he fought? Derek Chisora, good win. Huey Fury, good win. But Huey Fury already had a cut over his eye that had to be micro-stitched like two or three weeks before the fight. They didn't pull out of the fight because it was an IBF eliminator and it was a big opportunity, so they did not want to miss it. So they got into the ring with Kubat Pulev, probably 70% of what they could be. So yeah, that was a win, but still. Who has he fought other than that? Vladimir Klitschko? That's a loss. At world level, his only fight at world level, he has lost. So he's no more than a B-level heavyweight. Yeah, he's a good fighter. He's a good professional. Was a good amateur. But he's nowhere near the level of Anthony Joshua that has been proven in his previous performances. Yes, he's a good fighter, good professional, good amateur. But he just hasn't excelled like Anthony Joshua has in the heavyweight division. Look at Anthony Joshua's resume since becoming world champion in his 16th fight. Then go and look at Pulev's, then you'll see the difference. Now, that being said, I'm kind of liking this from a team at Pulev because, I mean, they're kind of the forgotten guys. Everyone's talking about Anthony Joshua Usyk, Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury Dillian White. Where does Pulev fit into all of that? So I think they're kind of shouting and saying that, no, wait a minute, we're not to be overlooked. We're the next Andy Ruiz Jr. who is going to shock the world. Maybe that is what they are trying to achieve by saying all of this. Now, it is mainly the same guy. Kubrat Pulev's co-promoter, Ivan Gotsev. So it's the same guy saying it. He's kind of the Eddie Hearn in Kubrat Pulev's team, maybe. That's probably why. Just trying to hype him up, just trying to make this fight a little bit bigger. And again, make sure that Kubrat Pulev isn't the forgotten guy in this road to the undisputed fight. So all I have to say to that is fair play. Why not? Why not talk? I mean, they have the platform now, so go ahead and talk about it. Plus, if they talk Kubrat Pulev up, then Anthony Joshua should get more credit for beating him. So fair play, carry on. But ultimately what they are pointing out about Anthony Joshua is realistically where Kubrat Pulev has fallen short. But still, anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.